to expect the finance minister to announce is an unemployment benefit program. This is to cater for individuals who have lost their jobs during this pandemic. But how workable is this? Labor consultant Austin Gama is not sure government has what it takes to roll out this program. So your reaction to the finance minister's comment? Obviously not a reaction, but my, my point of view. Um, the reality is that we have some data in Ghana here, uh, whether it's with uh, Ghana Statistical Service, with Labor Department, or with uh, ISA, or whoever. Certainly it's incomplete, but from what I know. And uh, therefore, uh, the inadequacies of uh, information that is not available makes the uh, benefit payment, uh, if anything at all, a uh, non-starter to start with. It's a good thing, which I have also previous governments, present government, uh, have been advocating and talking about. But I think that to be real, we're talking about about some 14 million people who are available and ready for the job market. And it's just about, if, if SNIT uh, data is anything to go by, just about some maybe 2 million plus people might be paying SNIT. That means they are uh, in the, uh, some kind of job. And therefore, if 10 million people uh, or 8 million people will be benefiting from unemployment benefits, I think that burden will be too huge uh, to be swallowed by the population based on what we know already about the capability of the economy to uh, keep us going the way we are. Mm. So I think the mm. wise thing to do is for government to continue uh, uh, and whoever comes into the saddle uh, uh, going forward, we should ensure that we open up the space for a lot more investment, praying that the pandemic will not be there or will slow down, to enable us to expand the economy, uh, which is actually the function of uh, any serious government.